Damn! Raining outside, no good. But check it out. Hold on, you can't even freaking see me. So, we got everything that we need to put the motor together. Put the motor in a truck um, to go back together. Last night, Rod come over. We hit the front end with some, uh, with some special blend and uh, power wash the shit out of it. And washed up on the firewall, shit like that. Got all these nasty, cruddy bars. Look at that. It's like a brand new piece. But, this is what we got going on right now. So it's fairly early, I think it's like 7.30. We've been out here for a couple hours. Um, I'm roughing in the intake right now, so we got these bungs and shit, the injector bungs and everything. That's what they look like. First, you knock that shit off. So, I'm just roughing them. And then we'll go back behind, we'll smooth them up. And the intake will be ready to put on. We'll put the fogger on it. All the injectors and shit. But, before we put the injectors on it, we need to take them to Capsas because... We need to flow them. They might be fine. They may not. Um, number two is still, you know, up in the air on could be an injector problem. So um, we need to figure that out. We need to figure it out fast. So that's our plan. We'll run up to Capsas today. In the midst of all of this bullshit, we'll flow the injectors. And we'll go from there. So I'll try to keep you updated as we're rocking along. But right now I'm rocking solo, so I'm gonna be trying to knock some shit out and use my time wisely. Come on. Oh yes! Look at that. We got the bungs knocked out of the thing. Roughed in. Hit it with that hot dog. Then hit it with that thing. And now I gotta go to Boone's and steal the same paper roll because uh, we're just gonna clean it up a little bit. Get, get it looking deasy before we strap that thing on there. So what I'll probably do, I gotta run town and get some uh, silicone and a couple other things. When we get back, we'll hit it with the same paper roll. Uh, we got some 1275s and that's the gasket that I ran with my dart. John said that that's the gasket that he ran with his profiler which is now our profiler. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord. And uh, so we should be good there. We're gonna double check it, make sure everything's good. Check front and back gap on a intake and throw some silicone down and get that, get that thing squished. So once we get done with that, we're ready to start putting that motor in. Uh, I mean, I gotta take seat out transmission. Uh, but after that, we can put the motor in start rerouting some of our wiring because let me tell you just just not a fan so um yes that'd be awesome so running to town we're trying to stay rocking trying to keep keep shit going man knocking them bungs out of that thing took a little bit of time so uh trying to catch up we'll see you here in a minute yeah lord Oh shit. What we got, Rod? Oh man. We got some pressure. That's right. 
So for everybody that watches and they're like, man, who is this guy that's kicking it? This is Rod. What he's it do, homie. y'all? What it do? He, uh, he's been helping us out. He's got a little Monte Carlo. Oh, damn. Y'all probably done seen the Monte Carlo if you're on my Facebook. We got to go out here and check it out real quick before I give y'all the update. Look at this thing. Clean! What'd you name it? Tretorize! <laughs> oh, shit. They're gonna love this. Yeah. They're gonna love this. All right, so we got... Today has sucked. I, I ain't even gonna lie. Today has sucked bad. So I went over to John's to use the sandpaper roll and uh, finish it up. Oh man, it looks badass. Looks great. Looks like it's gonna flow good. Everything awesome. Drop the injectors in it. Guess what? The o ring sticks out the bottom of the bung. So we go to redo it. John's like, hey, hand me some of that wire over. So I grab some wire off the bench, hand it to him. Stainless. So you, if you're a welder, you already know how that went. So we drilled that bung back out. So after four re-drills, drill the bung out, redo it. We got it done. So three of uh, the bungs were the injectors, the O-ring stuck out the bottom. The rest of them were fine. So we got that done. We knocked the bottoms off of them. Got everything ready. Got back, picked up the injectors, took them to capsules, flowed them, got back, picked up the intake. John's still working on the thing. Got home, get busy. So we put the intake on it, we got the fogger on it. This is how it's sitting right now. Once we get that, we about to jack it up and put it in here. So there's your quick little update. We're trying to rock and roll. It's late. It's already late. We done wasted the whole day pretty much because we keep messing shit up. But that's part of the game. Everything's custom on the intake. Fabrication. Yeah, fabrication out the wazoo. JB hooking it up. Man, Man if it wasn't for John. The goat, yeah, we'd be screwed right now. So, we're gonna drop this thing in and then we'll holler back at you. Look at that! Yeah, Lord, we got that motor in it. It, was, mm -hmm. it wasn't too bad, it's pretty easy. It was pretty easy for real. So, it is like 12 o'clock. We probably finna go get something to eat. Where I don't know, but we're gonna do that. And then I'll probably come back and piddle, hook up some of this wiring, injectors, throttle body, headers, shit like that. There's a thousand more things to do. Put the transmission converter in it. But I gotta have something to eat or I ain't gonna be going much longer. So, we will be back and I'll get y'all another quick update. Come on. Look at that. All put together. Fired it up, set the timing, did all that jazz. Oh, he's ready to roll, lady. We're ready to roll. We're ready to rock. We're gonna take this thing up and down the road real quick. We'll be right back. Take a little log, make sure everything's good. And yes, log. Okay. so I have no idea what the last thing I filmed or what is going on at all we have been it's been shitty so the 16 volt was all junky it's messed up on us 
we had to locate another one get the thing back started again heat cycled it again today <laughs> went to take it up down the road the thing starts choochin' out the right bank so I bring it back home we went about an eighth mile up the road turn it around bring it home kill it pull the plug spin it over it's got water in the tube I'm pretty sure maybe not now oh yeah look at this still wet now this thing was up to temp headers hot so it's pushing water out that tube we gotta look at it the dam pull the header off uh, throat bore is clean it's like what, what the hell so exhaust port is clean sorry so we compression test it it's low I'm like golly man this thing might have already washed the ring out the fresh motor we don't know if the cylinder heads leaking where it's been repaired and welded up I have pressure tested this thing with the pump on uh, 20 pounds no leaks nowhere can't find a leak won't leak on the gauge uh, that, it's just I don't know what in the world is going on so I'm taking my ass to bed because it's 2 in the morning and I have to be up at 5.30 to go to work it's getting hot in Kentucky it's going to be a shitty ass day tomorrow but we're having bad luck with whole milk your boy is struggling so I'm going to go to bed I'm going to give me some decent rest come back tomorrow see what we can figure out we need to get some laps on this thing. We need to be able to drive it up down the road and fix those minor inconvenient bugs before we take it all the way to the racetrack and we're ready to test. Uh, I've always felt like there's three different steps of testing. One is the garage and road testing and, and you know, take it to the track and test and then go beat on it test. Time to get that, that tune up right. We can't even make it to step number one of testing. So struggling right now we'll come back in the morning or tomorrow evening get a little update for you me and rod when we went to drive down the road the other day i didn't even tell you all this some bitch died that's when the 16 volt problem arised and then we went to bowling green tested with drew came back put a 16 volt blah 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 whatever so like i said that's what we got going on right now i'll come back tomorrow i'll try to give you all an update hopefully it's a good one we'll see come on when shit's fucked up, <laughs> gotta, gotta holler at your boy John Boone. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's right. That's our dart intake. Now, we've stuck it on here. We've been through customs, 1275s, your mother, this and that, all of it. And we still got shit coming out of the combustion chamber. We're like, man, what in the world? It's one in the morning. Of course, we got to get up and go to work tomorrow. Hell yeah. And I'm like, just got it all put together half ass we're just wanting to start it and see if it was still doing the same thing with a different intake because i'm like man this is weird the flange has got to be off something something's got to be weird so i'll take the intakes over to booms we angle check both of them the angle mill is the same so i brought the dart over because i'm like man i'm gonna try this if it ain't it it's only coming out of number two cylinder that's where they repaired it. This is this is making sense. If it's not the intake, that area in between the intake and exhaust, real light, anything could happen. We put the intake on. We get it wrapped up. 
I'm like, all right, bro, let's prime the fuel system. And what we do is, it's kind of ghetto, but we got a return line vent on uh, the fuel cell. We pump it full of air, spin the motor over, blah, blah, blah. It's ghetto rigging, whatever. As we're spinning it over and the fuel is starting to prime, I don't have a spark plug in hole number two, and I see it start chooching. And I'm like, there goes that water. The fuel system starts leaking up here at the regulator. We crack it. Fuel system's prime. We spin it over again, and I'm like, hey, Drew, hold your hand over there. He holds it. He's like, e I'm going to spin it over. You come put your hand on it, because you know the fuel. I put my hand on it. It chooches. I'm like, hmm. We pull the injector rail off. Number two, well, as soon as we pull it off, it's not leaking no fuel, but you can hear it. Making some ghetto ass noise. And I'm like, spin the thing over. Pushing fuel out. No ECU on. Just the fuel pressure getting to that injector leaking. Hmm. We burn up hole number two a couple weeks ago. Wonder why why that might be. So your boy is loving EFI right now. Uh we got an injector problem. On number two. I'll be damned. Hmm. Who would have thought? So I've got spare injectors. It's too late tonight. Plus silicone's drying. Uh I feel like a whopping idiot. But this is how you learn this shit, man. You you learn all I this is how I've always learned. I've learned everything the god dang hard way. But what do you do? You can bitch about it, like I always say. You can cry about it, you can do whatever you want, or you can just fix it and get on with yourself. So Tomorrow, I am going to start this thing and put some heat in it and put some fog and oil in that cylinder and try to get some compression out of that thing and bring it back to life. Change the oil because there's no telling what's going on, how much fuel we've we've dumped. Because as soon as you spin it over, it's it's pushing some fuel out. The injector's hung open or whatever. I don't know. So, there's your update for the day. Tomorrow, we'll start it up and put some heat in it. Hopefully, our problem is fixed. And after that, I'll pull the intake off once more. And all the fogger and the nozzles and the injector rails and the injectors and all the lines and all the awesome ECU wiring and all the holly shit. Oh yeah, it's great. It's a fun time. And we'll put the profiler back on it because that mofo makes the power. So yeah, that's what we got going on tonight. I'm tired of shit. Whole milk has consumed my life here lately, which is what a hot rod does. And, uh, but yeah, we're back on track. But we've got it figured out now, so. No, it was not an intake gasket problem. No, not at all. Uh, this sucks. So. But we got it fixed. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah. Not fixed yet, but we're getting it fixed. We know what's wrong now. We've got the pinpointed, accurate problem now. So, that makes me feel good. I'll be able to freaking go to sleep tonight. We got to get up, crack it heavy tomorrow at work. Tomorrow we'll come back and we'll let you know what's happening. Come on. Yes, law. I just got off work. Great shitty day. My clutch went out on my freaking X1. Come on, man. What's up with that? What's up with this focus? All right, so just got off work. 
slammed an injector in this thing. Uh, we're about to start it up and see what's going on. Got the dart intake on it. I put some oil in the hole last night. Put some oil in the hole uh, earlier. And uh, just now I pulled the plug out. Oh, that's a big, big flying animal. Um, pulled the plug out, cycled it, and uh, got all that shit out of there. I'm gonna put a plug in here to try to fire it. It might junk the plug quick because uh, the hole that I got in there. But that thing's down on compression, so we got to we got to get it back. And the only way you can do that is with heat and lubrication. So, in my opinion, uh, so that's what we're about to do. We're gonna fire it up. Uh, fuel system's primed. Hopefully, it fires and it builds heat, and our problems are fixed. Yeah. Gosh dang wrench in there. That's what's smoking. It's a ratcheting wrench. So, I know exactly what happened. A wrench fell off of this nice little factory firewall right into the bullhorn. That's awesome. First start up, the damn thing's got heat in it, and I've yeah, watched it gradually make heat comparative to the other ones that just made heat. The heat came around. Uh, we got the motor hot. It ain't got no water. It's got water in the block. Um, but I wanted to get that shit hot. If that ring is not seated or if it was messing with any of the other ones, I'm gonna get that bitch hot and I'm gonna try to get it seat. So, we're gonna put a compression test on it and see how it goes. Yes, Lord. Holy shit, we just took whole milk for a little rip up the road. I cleaned that header out, so now it's not smoking. Got the tube back, got good compression. And this bitch rips. Quick little update, uh, I'm pulling the intake off to put the profiler back on. Yeah, I know, this sucks. But I want to put the profiler on it, so I don't give a shit. Made sure that everything works. And no, it was not an intake or a gasket problem. It's a freaking injector. I feel like a re-idiot. 
How about that? Yeah, we'll use nice words. Uh, but I'm going to pull the intake off. I did take the header off and clean the shit out of it because it was smoking like a dog. It was nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty in there. Oil and shit. So we'll scrub the shit out of that. And yeah, that's what we got going on right now. So with the profiler on, let the silicone and shit set overnight. And then tomorrow, we'll try to go test. I, I don't know what today is. So maybe the day after that. So we'll see. Come on. dinner. Look at this guy. For the kid that won't eat. That just don't quit. Pops, got me set the intake on. Got the profiler back. So, we're gonna let that right stuff get a little tacky. It's on there hand tight. We'll tighten it up here in a minute. Put the bungs on it, the fogger. Then we'll start running our wires and doing all that fun shit. And hopefully here soon, we'll have that wrapped up. We'll let it sit overnight. Tomorrow, come back. Hopefully that silicone is nice and tacked up and we'll start it up. Oh yeah, look at that. All put together. Tomorrow we will fire it up. We'll let that silicone do its gig. And uh, yeah, so hopefully we gonna make that big pyre with a profiler. It's been a lot of work. We've swapped intakes four times while it's on the truck. Mmm, love that factory firewall. So, I'm out. It's like one in the morning. Today's my birthday. Woohoo! So great. I definitely feel older. Uh, after being hunched over for four days working on this piece of shit, my back is killing. So, I'm taking my ass to bed. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Come on.